Hi there everyone, welcome to Office Visor. In today's video, we will talk about how we can create monthly budget calculator. And this video is going to be super exciting as we will have a first hands-on video on Microsoft Excel. If you haven't followed our Excel series yet and you are a beginner, then I would suggest you to go through the entire series where we have explained the things from very basic, from very starting. You can find the complete course video link in the description of this video so now let's get back to our topic and let's create our very first excel workbook so without further ado let's get started okay so here let me actually click on menu button and type excel and there we go we can see the excel start screen up here now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click here on blank workbook so this will basically open blank worksheet now here what i can do is i can actually add some text or i would say title of this project which is monthly budget calculator so it is very easy guys as you just need to select the cell and then here we can type our title now i would like to create few columns or headers here for example the first one will be serial number and then here i can add my expense so i'm gonna write expense type and if you go here at slight edge of this b column you actually can expand it another method of auto expanding your cell by simply making double click on it and in this way guys it will automatically expand the column based on the text and then again based on your requirement you can make necessary adjustment now here we have created these two columns first one is serial number so let me put some serial number here one two three four five six and now expense type could be let's say your housing rent then comes electricity so i would suggest you to put or create your own expense type to see how it work in your use case scenario and believe me guys the best thing to learn any software or anything is by practicing it so if we use you know real time use case scenario then generally we learn it faster so now let me put another type of expense here let's say electricity bill and then broadband bill and then we can put let's say um petrol and credit card and then let's say um you spend some amount in education you can put that here so we can put that as well so here now we have created all type of expenses that we generally in occur so i would say it is very easy to wrote down all the expense type that we generally have in these cells and let me actually zoom it a bit so that you know it is more visible okay so now the next thing here i would like to write is gen Fab. and you can start actually from current month as well so let's say current month is actually december so i can start it with december but let's create it from jan i would say and then i'm gonna put here march april and you might have seen i'm just putting shortcuts there so it's up to us the way we want to write now i'm gonna write here my rent so you know in most of the case it is constant so I'm going to put here, let's say 10,000. And then I'm just putting example figure here. So these values are very subjective or, you know, reasonable depend or reason dependent. So like this, I can put this rent value and then electricity bill. So it is variable, I would say. So generally in case of rent, it is fixed for a certain duration. So that's why I put 10,000 in all columns. So here, let's say I got 2,500 electricity bill in January. My broadband bill is 1,200. Then petrol, 6,000. Then credit card, it's 25. And then education, let's say I spend 5,000 for education. Now, um, let me quickly put values for these columns as well okay so here now you can see we have entered all the values and you might notice something unusual so for example if you see these text these all are aligned toward left however if you see these numbers they are aligned toward right and believe me guys there is no such issue in entering these values 
they are valid and they do not have any issue but why this happened that you know certain entities are aligned to our left while other entities are aligned to our right well this happened because of the different data type so generally what happened whenever we enter decimal here so let me quickly add decimal here we can see these decimal values they are perfectly aligned and we do not face any challenge so what happened if we align this toward left so let me quickly do it for that i'm gonna select these data fields by left mouse button and then i'm gonna click on align left and there we go so here you can see one may face issue in visualizing and doing let's say manual sum up obviously we're not going to do manual sum up but how we were seeing this data when it was aligned to our right now let me again make it aligned to our right and then you can see it is now a bit easier to understand so this is the reason why the numbers are aligned towards right okay now here we can see uh, we have written here gen so this is let's say 2024 so i'm gonna put here 24 and then here as well 24 24 and so on i can actually drag it and then it's going to automatically you know update so this is also one of the you know cool way to entering these values you might have seen that this entries are now also aligned to our right and this is because the dates are also aligned to our right so previously the excel was recognizing jan feb and march as a text now it is recognizing it as a date and you can actually see it here it is general when i'm clicking on these text and when i'm selecting these data field it is showing them as custom now let's talk about how we can manually define these data fields for that what we can do is I want to define these all data field as date i can click here on home and then can go to this number tab from here i can go to date so here we have this short date and long date however it does not meet the style that i'm using so what i can do is i can click on more number format and from here i can select date and then i can choose my particular style or the style that i want but sometimes it may happen with you the style that you want is not available in that case you can actually go to custom and then you can create your own custom style so it is then which consists of three characters so i'm gonna say m m m so which is month and then i'm gonna put a dash here and you can actually see the real time preview also appearing here now i'm gonna put y y and this is the style that i am currently using so in this way guys you can format your data field and then you can apply your preferred way of showing things now we have just defined the data types of these columns now let's also do it for these currency columns so as we know that these are not the number but these are currency so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna select all these data columns and then here again i will go to general and i'm gonna mark it as currency so since i live in india and the software is intelligent enough that you know the most probable currency that i'm gonna use will be INR or Indian rupee so that's why it shows me rupee symbol or let's say even you are in India and you use different currency then we can actually click here on this option and then we can choose it to let's say USD or any other currency let's say the currency that you use is not available here you can click here on more accounting format and from here you can choose the currency symbol that you prefer for example let's choose this Liechtenstein currency so now you can see it shows me the value in Liechtenstein currency format now let me again press undo and let me make it in rupee back which makes sense for me so in this way we have defined entered value in currency format now i'm gonna create one more column here so let me actually add a total column so i'm gonna write total and then here what i will do is i will create some of expense that we have done in january february march april and so on i can also create another total here which kind of give me the expense that i did in a particular category so doing some is i would say pretty easy 
what we need to do is we need to click here on this data field where we want to see the sum now i'm gonna go here in formula tab and then here i'm gonna add here a function which is known as sum so let me click here on sum and excel is actually capable enough to detect automatically which columns i would like to add here if i hit enter you can see the excel automatically selected these required data field but let's say this is not the case i want to do it manually so in that case what can i do is i can write sum here and then i need to specify the column so i'm gonna specify this is my first column and then i'm gonna put column here and then i'm gonna select this as my last column then all the entities in between will automatically get added so now i'm gonna add another closing bracket here and in this way guys we have created total for the month of january and sometime you may see this kind of a triangle here on the top so let's see what actually it says so it actually giving us few options so i'm gonna say ignore error so in this way this triangle will be vanished now i'm gonna show you a different method of creating this sum because sometime we may also need to customize we do not want to select all these rows so for the fab i'm gonna show you another method of creating this sum so this time what i'm gonna do is i'm not going to select all these columns let me again go to formula here and then click on auto sum and then i'm gonna click on sum and this time instead of selecting everything i can also do it like this select this first cell and then click on plus then select another cell click on plus select another cell again plus and like this so in this way also we can add this sum in the first method we saw how we have selected first and last and we have used column to you know define it as a range and in this way we have created this sum and the sum we did it manually by adding all these cells individually now let me just delete it another cool method that i would like to show is you can simply select your existing sum column and then you can simply dragging it to the next cell and there we go here we can see the exact result that we got by adding them individually so let me actually quickly select these and then create summation for month of april and march as well now let's also do it for category so now here i'm gonna go here on total this time i'm gonna write here equal and then sum and then here you can see a lot of preview of you know different print formula and then now we need to put this bracket and then i'm gonna select the whole range and now let's hit enter so in this way guys we have created sum by expense type and then from here we can do a lot of realization for example by seeing this we can actually conclude a lot of thing and can do a lot of realization where actually i'm spending my most of money so based on total it seems that i'm spending a lot of money in paying credit card bill or i can also conclude that i have made a most of purchase or expense in month of february so based on that you can draw a lot of conclusion i would suggest you to create these kind of workbook from where you can actually generate some value which could be very useful for you so this was our first excel workbook hands-on video where we have seen how we can create a monthly budget calculator please try to create by yourself and do let me know what challenge you found or what realization you have made by creating this calculator that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and to follow this complete excel course and i will catch you soon with another such productivity video till then you take care and bye bye